Hello and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Project Omega. Uh, I left off on the last video, I was waiting for things to be delivered, just to recap on a few things that I've now got. Uh, as you'll have seen, well, what I had mentioned, this is what you call cavity seal. Obviously you've got your wax oil, which you just spray underneath the car using high pressure air. But naturally you can't get into all the little cracks and crevices, i.e. like all the inside skins of these like bonnets, the bottoms of the doors, the boot inside of all the box sections, the chassis, stuff like that. So that's what you use these for. And you use these long straws, which keep falling on the floor, um, which, I don't know if the camera will zoom in, but it's got like a multi-directional tip. Don't know why that's not focusing in. Maybe if I put it on the on the bench, you can see there, those little nozzles, there's like three of them, and they all spray like in different directions. So you just thread them inside of a cavity, like so, push it down, connect it to the can, and as you pull it out, you spray, and that coats all the inside areas of the panels, which is worth its weight in gold when these voxels for the bottoms of the doors rotten out and stuff. Uh, so I got them, three should be enough, I'm not going to go wild. Five litres to fully underneath, do underneath the car, probably be doing that in a few weeks' time once I get all the mechanical jobs out the way, because once you spray all this stuff on, uh, it just makes claggy work of trying to change oil filters, stuff like that. I'm not going to be spraying any of the black wax oil under the bonnet because it looks unsightly. So I'm just going to use the old trick of what I've done quite a few times in the past. And it works just as well. Is just simply use some spray grease. Clear chain lube. And it works perfectly. Nice and clear. Doesn't stand out too much. It's not black. And I'm just going to spray and put a little bit of protective coating on the brake pipes variously around the engine and there's a couple of power steering pipes at the bottom uh, so that's what i'm going to get done today like i've said i've got the rear diff fluid may do that um this is something else that's just been delivered it's the it's just a fuel filter it's actually a petrol fuel filter but down there there's a very old one and what it all all it does basically it just filters the air that comes into the vacuum system i just thought i think this was like 60p just change it, may as well, for all it costs. Oh, got the new gear oil that was just delivered before. Can't find a dipstick on here. If anybody can tell us, uh, on the refill and drain procedures for this automatic gearbox, they're stating to fill it, which you normally do through the dipstick. Ignore that dipstick, that's for the engine. It's normally another separate one comes up uh, along them. So, so if anybody knows where it is, I've yet to put it on the lift. The dipstick might be underneath, but that's not a big deal. So I've got five litres of that. Um, and I've got what's left from what I used in the Volvo. But I think there's about a litre left in there. And like I was explaining, that does everything. So I'll leave it for now. I'm going to get a few little jobs done. And I'll come back to you either in this video or another video. Hello and welcome back. Update on Project Amiga. I'm sorry if I go over anything twice. It's just hard work. Trying to run a business and keep track of what I've recorded and what I haven't. So since the last video, uh, I took the engine cover off. And what I've done is, I have had the EGR valve off, which is simple, four bolts, those two on there. Take it off, I've cleaned it off inside. And then what I've done is, I've just done a simple deactivate, which I'll just grab the light, two seconds. So there we go. So what I've done is, I've just put a little grommet on the end of the really this doesn't serve a great deal of purpose apart from there's a slight little bit of oil can weep out of it so i've just put a little what it is actually it's a brake pipe end a uh, little yellow uh, grommet put it over and just stuck a cable tie on to keep it on uh, don't worry if you haven't got nothing if the engine bay is a mess to start with or whatever a tiny little bit of weepage of oil that's the worst case you'll get in the vacuum pipe i've just pushed it up here i'm not quite sure how good you'll be able to see this and as you can see there, I've just put a little screw slash bolt in the end of it, put a cable tie on, a block the vacuum, so you don't get an engine management light, and just nicely, neatly, tied it away, tied it, tied it away done that. Whilst I'm in this area, done an oil and filter change, everybody knows how to change an oil and filter really, so these are a bit old fashioned and complicated in a, in a sense, to making sure you get everything right, so that's done, F put an engine flush in, and I decided to change the oil. I was going to use Zero 40, but what I have actually decided to use was something... I thought that might be a little bit overkill for a car of this age. So what I used was a 540 fully synthetic PD. Everybody knows what the PD engines are in the Volkswagens. So this is a very high-grade oil. But at the same time, 
I thought 0 40 would have been pushing it. So it's nice and thin enough when it's cold. At the same time, it doesn't get too thin when it's hot. So that's been done. Um, what did I do from the last time again? I, uh, the wipers. I've done them. So it's got the nice new Bosch wiper blades on. Front ones have got the um, ones with the spoilers. I'll just bring that down. I'll move the lamp. There you go. It's got the spoiler on. And that's the standard there, Bosch. I'm just a right fanny when it comes to stuff like that. I absolutely hate having crap wipers and crap lights. As you've known in the other video, I've done that. Like I've said, so that's the oil filter being done with a flush. I've put some new anti-freeze in. Uh, air filter's been done. Cleaned the MAF sensor. Uh, what is it? Obviously, the AGR that's done. Um... What else? Oh, there's the rear diff in the gearbox fluid. I'm going to, as I've mentioned, I don't know if this date's come up. This is currently the end of September. I'm going to tax this car on the 1st of October. I'm going to run it through October. If they decide to put, start putting salt down in October, it's coming off the road. But if it doesn't, it'll get used the full month of October. Then at the end of October, it's getting sawn. It'll be off the road till March or April. So... As for the rear diff and the gearbox fluid, I think that's going to be something to do next year. I just wanted to keep all the mechanicals um, up to date on it. Uh, what I have done, I've had it on the lift when I did the oil. I missed out doing it. I showed you this in the last video, which is the anti-corrosion spray. It's like a injection wax, which goes into the cavities, cavity wax. And you put this in, and you put it into all of the... Uh, you can't really see that. Into all of the cavities, and it fills the cavities with wax. Because generally you find... Cars rust from the inside out in the little box sections and areas water gets into like these and them So you put the straw in and you spray it and it covers all the dual skins of these panels the bottoms of the doors uh, the boot and loads of areas underneath which I might do if I've got time now um, Show you doing some of that so I can let it dry overnight So that's fine. I'm gonna do another short. I'll leave this video here. I'll link it to another one And I'll come back to you when I get sorted so I'll, I'll just pause out on this video and next time you'll see it the car will be up on the lift right so that's the engine cover back on i haven't got time to show you the cavity wax i'll do that in the next video uh, i thought i would make a proper demonstration of doing that so that's been done what i want to show as well obviously these pipes down the side of the engine you can't really get the wax oil going into there spraying stuff about uh so what you tend to do is just paint them with a little bit of grease or spray a little bit of grease on them you see them pipes running at the back they don't tend to rot that badly, but it's better that they've got a little bit of coating. Just obviously don't go spraying it on any moving parts or onto the turbo and things like that, like major amounts of it to cause smoke. So they're done. Engine cover's back on. And let us know your comments, what you think I should do about the ECUs just in here. Uh, and it just pulls out. And I've been in, in contact with a guy, N Tuning. Uh, he does all like the BMW engines uh, about getting this thing chipped. I, I know the automatics have a weak, weaker gearbox, which I don't intend getting it mapped, to, like, like super chipped to the full. Um, just wondering if anybody's had it done with an auto and what your kind of um, results have been. Clearly, it's all down to driver, really. If you get them uh, chipped up and tuned and you rake them all the time, then, yeah, things are going to go wrong. But under normal gentle use you know that's all i'll be using this car for is it worth getting them chipped does it bring them a bit more up to the 20th century i mean definitely runs fine pulls well haven't got any issues there but is it a worthwhile spending i think it's about 80 pound and that's why you post the ecu to him and he fits it because i wasn't really keen of opening that up um let us know let us know if you've uh, done that before so that's it. I'll leave it there, now there for this video. I haven't really got a great deal of time to finish anything else off today. So I'll catch you in another video. If you like this, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just thought I would show a quick demonstration of cavity wax. As you can see, it's got a long straw going to it. And what this is, it's a very lightweight wax. Obviously, you can spray wax oil all over underneath to the main coverings, which is fair enough. You get all the... The main surface is covered. Haven't done this car yet, but due to do it. But what you can't get is inside of all these box sections. And if you look along the bottom of the sills, there's... Oh, it's hard to see. There's little drain holes all the way along. And what you need to do is you get this pipe, which I've just been doing. As you can see, what's dripping out here is... You thread the pipe through up into the hole. And as you can see, I'll give one quick spray of this. The end of this nozzle sprays 
in all different directions. So when you put it in, it's a bit like when you're unclearing, uh, unblocking a drain. You put it in, you spray it when you pull it out, and, the, and basically it sprays a full 360 degrees around. So when you put it up inside of these box sections and thread it along, you, you obviously... I'll, I'll show you a demonstration. I'll thread the pipe up through the hole, and I'll come back to you. So there we go. The pipe is threaded. That's that long white pipe. And that's all the way down the drain hole. I'm just having to move around because there's bits dropping all over us here. So all you do is you connect up the can. This is really difficult with one hand. And once it's on, you just give it a spray as you're pulling it out. Obviously, just make sure to stop before you get to the end. Otherwise, you get a face full of wax. And bring it out. And as you can see along there, I don't know if you can see that like mist coming out. That's sprayed all the way inside that sill along. So you carry that along, you do it all the way along the sills, you do it in any little hole or box section, like into those, into these, into them, and that's where most cars rot from the inside out. So you want to get it in all these, you can see where I've done these ones yesterday, and it just dries nicely. You thread them all the way up the chassis legs, up into there, through those holes, into there, you put them inside of the subframes, into the bottom of your doors I'm going to do the doors as well you have a little drain hole so when it's on the lift you can put them into the bottom of the doors and you spray and it sprays it fills all the bottom of the doors with this wax and it's just a very light watery kind of substance it's like literally like like water but when it dries it obviously stays in there permanently so don't forget when you are doing the wax oiling on your cars which you spray on which I've showed you in the five litre cans always make sure to inject what you call cavity wax Bottom of the doors, boot liners, into your uh, bonnet, inner sills, which are obviously these areas will all have drains on. And it gets inside, inside all the box sections, inside of the subframes. These arms here, they're obviously hollow. They will have little drain holes somewhere, I bet, or may not. There might be some kind of access point inside of these, so you can inject it into them. What else we got up here? Subframe there, you see. So you want to be getting them into here and injected inside of the subframe. And that's how you really protect your car. It's the right way of doing it. And there, I think there are three cans with the applicators for £20. Spend about 40 quid, get six cans, that'll do your average car. Just a short video today for that. So I'll catch you on another video. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you on another video. Bye. Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Project Amiga. I just thought I would demonstrate doing what I've mentioned I'm doing, uh, rust proofing the Amiga. Uh, what we've been using on this one, I don't usually use the black wax oil, but this is it here, Hammerite. That's just in warm water to make it easier to apply. Hammerite wax oil, I prefer the clear, but this car's already been done uh, in black, so I'm, I thought I may as well just keep to the, the theme. It'd be pointless putting the clear over the black, so as you can see now, I've done all the cross members, subframes, obviously you've got to keep away from the brakes. It's had all the chassis done, my floor pan. Don't know how that's coming out on camera, it's starting to get dark. And I've got an engine running outside and the compressor's uh, leaking air. But all the back subframe, back arms, you don't need to do the diff or nothing like that. All around that, along the sills. As you've seen on my previous video, I've used cavity wax in all of the holes, everywhere you can get along the sills. I've, I've, all I've got left to do now is the bottom of the doors, um, and that's the hole underneath of the car done. I've done underneath the wheel arches, right up into the body, and that's what you call the full underbody protection. Well, I'm saying full, I probably could spend a little bit longer doing this. I just simply haven't got time and it's enough as this car is not going to be getting used over the winter but unfortunately it will be standing outside so for the sake of a uh, five litres of wax oil it's had the full underbody done I think it looks a bit better in the light from that direction as you can see it's all done so I'll just add this little short clip into the bit that I've previously recorded doing the cavity wax that's the remainder of the cavity wax there with the straw which I'm going to do in the bottom of the doors so, thanks for watching. Uh, this should be the end of the video for the rust proofing. You've got to remember to get into all the little pieces, even right into the um, grills and areas like that in our wings. And it, keep, it will just give the car an extra lease of life, especially when they're in good condition like this one, where it's never needed welding done or nothing like that. So I'll catch you in another, another video. If you like this, like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye.